everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make three different DIY wall decor pieces. These are all gonna be yarn wall hangings and I think you're really gonna love them. They are very simple to make and they're also very affordable to make. So I love using these for wall decor. I think they really soften the look of your walls. They're very trendy at the moment and you'll always have a unique piece if you make it yourself. So I always think this is a really good idea. So today I'm gonna show you how to make three different wall hanging styles. One that's very large and classic looking, one that is modern and minimalistic, and the last one I would say is just very trendy and simple. So I think there's something for everybody here. I hope this video can help you and inspire you to make your own wall decor. If you make any of these from this video, make sure you guys tag me in a picture on Instagram or Twitter. I want to see what you guys make so bad. So hopefully you guys try these out yourself. They're very, very simple. You only need to know one knot to be able to do this, and I know we can all do this knot. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Let's get started with the first style. For the first wall hanging, you're gonna need a wooden dowel. You can get it from the craft store. I got mine from Michael's. They have them in different sizes there. You're also gonna need tape, scissors, and yarn of your choice. So I picked these colors out from Michael's. I thought I'd pick up this really thick, bigger yarn because I thought it would add some visual interest to it. It actually gives a really cool look. This warmer tone and this white as the base color. So I thought the easiest way to get started on this was by hanging up my wooden dowel on the wall. So I just hung this temporary string so I could work off the wall. That way I can tell how long I want the strings and it's just securely put on here with some tape so it doesn't move around. This design has three different parts to it. These two back loops are what we're starting with. So cut two pieces of yarn the same length and we're gonna loop them on to our dowel, one on each side. So we're gonna be tying this one on the right side and cutting off the ends to have a really clean look and doing the same on the left side. We're gonna keep the space in the middle open so that these kind of hang on the outward ends of our dowel. Next you have to figure out how long you want your wall hanging to be. So I'm just eyeballing a length folding that in half to double it and then cutting my yarn at that point. So I'm gonna repeat this process 60 times. That's how many strings it took to cover one whole loop. So yours might be different, but now we're gonna be attaching each and every string onto our loop. So we're doing a very simple method. Just fold your piece of yarn in half so you have a loop and put that loop over top of the hanging piece of yarn and pull the ends tight. So that will bring you to this point. It kind of looks like a little pretzel and you just pull tight till the knot stays on the string. As the string gets tighter, it's gonna become a lot easier, so this will go by a lot quicker. But just repeat this process all the way along until you hit the end of this hanging piece of yarn. This knot will be the only knot we do this entire time when making all three of these hanging wall pieces. So as long as you can do this knot and master that, which is super easy, you guys can get these all done really quickly. So as you guys can see, this is what it looks like when you start filling up this entire piece of yarn. The knots look pretty and simple and you have all these nice hanging pieces. And now moving on to the second piece of yarn that we tied onto the dowel. We're repeating the exact same process, tying all of our pieces onto this piece of yarn until it's completely full. So you can really see how simple and repetitive this whole process is. This is what it should look like once you finish off your two sections. Now we're working on a third section that's really gonna bring this whole piece together. We're gonna tie one piece of yarn and loop it around till it hits this second loop. So it's gonna be in the middle of each loop. As you guys can kind of see there, just kind of eyeball it and then cut off that piece of string that kind of makes it look messy. Now I'm gonna be tying on this thicker yarn and I thought let's do a thicker yarn, do something different in the middle of this hanging piece to make it look really interesting. So again, tying these pieces of yarn on the same way I did all the other ones by folding them in half, looping it around and pulling the ends through. And I'm gonna be adding in the brown yarn around the top. Just remember when you're cutting these sections for the middle loop that these ones are a little longer because this is gonna be our longer hanging section when we cut it later on. So just make sure that you cut these pieces a little longer so they're not too short. Um, tie them on the exact same way. Again, a super repetitive process, just bringing it up to the dowel. I did realize once this was finished that it was a little too heavy and I think this thicker yarn was weighing too much. So I took a lot of them off. So I was only left with three on each side, which I still thought looked nice. And then I added in the white yarn that was light and simple looking in the middle. And that really helped with the weight. 
This is what it should look like once you finish tying all of your loops on. It's completely full, it's thick, it's textured, it looks super nice, except we need to cut the bottom because it's still really shaggy, a little messy looking. So I'm gonna be using some tape just to tape some straight, nice lines on here. I'm gonna be doing an angled pattern. I really like the way that looks, but you can do a round shape, you can do it straight across, however you want. This just takes a lot of weight off and makes the wall hanging look a lot neater. So to complete this, just remove your tape and remove the piece of string that's hanging from your dowel. I'm gonna hang this directly on a nail and I think it looks so dramatic, so soft and textured. I think it makes the wall look amazing. This is a huge piece of wall decor and if you were to buy this in stores, you'd at least be spending $50. So now you have an affordable, unique piece of wall decor that is special to your home and your decor pieces and I think it's amazing. This next piece has a very simple and modern look to it. All you need is a round ring from your craft store. I found this in the floral section of Michael's and it came in silver, so I just decided to spray paint these black. I have two rings in here. I end up just using the big one for this video. But anyways, you need some scissors and you need a yarn of your choice. Again, I'm going with an all black look and I'm just tying it to the wall so I can work from there. So now we need to figure out how long our pieces of yarn are gonna hang, and these are gonna be a little bit more than half the length of the circle so that we hit that middle point and go a little bit past that. Again, figure out that length, double it up, and then cut the yarn from there. We're gonna be attaching these pieces the exact same way we did earlier, looping it around and pulling those ends through. You're gonna repeat this process all the way along the circle until you hit the halfway point. Once you hit the halfway point of the circle, go around to the other side and repeat the exact same process there. Okay, bear with me here. You're probably looking at this like this is really ugly. I would never hang this on my wall, but we do need to give it a haircut to make it look really crisp and modern. So again, I'm gonna be using some tape to find the center point of this circle so I can get a really nice crisp line across the center and just trimming it until I hit the middle point. I don't wanna go over the middle or under the middle. I want it pretty centered and you're gonna end up with this really cool looking piece that's half filled, half empty. It kind of reminds me of a moon in a way, super modern, super minimalistic, and I think it looks amazing and simple. It makes really cool wall decor. I have this hanging above my nightstand, and I just think it really brings together the decor really nicely, especially on a nice colored wall. So if you have a white wall or a colored wall, this would look cool in all different colors, and oh, I just love how simple it is and so easy to make. So if you guys have a room that would really suit this, make sure you guys make this one. It takes no time, and you'll end up with with this really cool round wall decor piece. And now onto the last wall hanging. This one is very trendy and simple. You're just gonna use one kind of yarn. I'm gonna be using the brown one. And you're also going to need some scissors and some kind of box or square item. This is for wrapping your yarn around to make cute little tassels. We're gonna be doing tassels in this one. They're really cute looking, super easy to make. All you have to do is wrap the yarn around your box 20 to 30 times. So I did 20 times so that my tassels don't end up being too thick and too large, but just depending on how you like them, wrap it as many times as you want. And then once you're finished, just cut that end with scissors. To keep the tassel tied together, cut a small piece of yarn and loop it underneath the yarn and make a little knot right at the top. So slide it into the top edge here and tie a little double knot. Now on the opposite side of the box, cut the yarn free from the box. Now we're gonna be making the head of the tassel. So cut a small piece of yarn and bring it down about an inch, inch and a half, however much you want from the top and tie a nice little knot that will bubble out the top and create this nice little head shape. It also kind of looks like Cousin It or an octopus. So kind of freaks me out a little bit, but I think they're super cute. And you can just clean up the tassel a bit by cutting off all the excess string and hiding the knots by just flipping them to the underside. So just move them around so you don't see them anymore and give it a little bit of a haircut. So for this design, we need five of these tassels. So just repeat the same process until we have all five lined up.
What makes this wall hanging a little bit more simple than the other ones is that it doesn't have a dowel or a ring. It's just all hanging off of this piece of yarn. So I'm going to be cutting five long pieces of yarn. This is what the tassels are going to attach to. So just simply tie them in a knot all spaced out evenly on this piece of yarn. And that's how simple it is. Just make sure you cut off these little ends because it does look messy like that. So just cut it off so that you don't see the knots tied and it looks like a nice simple line. Now to attach the tassels, use the loop that's at the top of the head and tie your strings onto it that way. So you just tie a little knot on there, attach all the tassels on the exact same way. It should be really simple and easy just to string it through and just cut off the ends as well just to clean it all up. So there you have it. That is the last step in creating this wall hanging. I think this is so cute. I love these tassels. I think they're so whimsical, but so dramatic looking, hanging on these long pieces of string. I think it would look so cool, like down a hallway or even above a baby's crib in like pink or blue or white. I think it looks so sweet. Also, I see tassels everywhere now, and I think things cost more that have tassels on them just because they're trendy. So if you can make them yourself, you'll save a lot of money and you'll have some really cool wall decor pieces. It also has helps that you can just tape this to the wall. It's renter friendly, easy to hang, and super light. So love this one so much. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching how to make all three of these wall decor pieces. I love every single one of them, but let me know down below in the comments which one is your favorite. I love that you can add beads and tassels and different colored yarn and style yarn to make these really different. I think you can also paint them and dye them. So there's so many unique ways to make wall hangings i think these are like the simplest ways and the easiest so i think this is a really good start for you guys and then you can just build on yours to make it different and unique so make sure you guys tag me in those photos i want to see what you guys make if you guys enjoyed watching today's video give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button and if you haven't already make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel click the red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so you never miss an upcoming video i'm hopefully going to be using some of these wall hangings for the new room makeover that we're doing so make sure you guys are here to see that love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!